because I don't want to get the face on the video. Here's a student. She's found her her own little niche. Nobody around. And she uh, just pro is probably studying on that picnic table right there. And nobody's going to bother her because she's on the other side of the lake. And that's what I'd do if I was here when I really needed to study. I don't know what this is. Waves. Oh, this is Great Escape. It's a trail. So there's another trail you could do. So, okay, we got to keep going because we're going down to Raptor and then over to that other trail. But uh, let's just get what this thing is. I don't, I don't see any picnic tables in there. Hold on. So there was one picnic table in that pav the pavilion. I don't know why just one. But those kids that were at the table, what they're doing, and this is really smart, man. I guess I would do it if I was a student at Liberty, is they all have their own hammocks. And they come back here and I just noticed they got their hammocks set up and they just sit in the hammock with the with their study material. And I imagine it's very, very nice to be outside. It was a nice day today, you know. I'm sure this is their, they just want to get out and about. But right now I'm on the Great Escape. I'm pretty sure if I'm looking at the map, this is going to take me over to Dirty Ridge. And that'll take us on back to the, uh, the complex. And hopefully we'll be back out here and uh, we'll hike another portion of the mountain. And next time uh, I will take this map home because I'm pretty sure I'll be back here before I leave. Again, at least for one more hike. And, uh, and then we'll, uh, I'll put the map back so that I'm not taking a map away from the school. But uh, you can kind of see I'm going up now. <laughs> That's the thing I like about Liberty Mountain. You got a lot of up and down. So it does get your, get your heart rate up when you're an old fool like me. All right, let's keep on going. All right, so a great escape is veering off to the right. And I'm pretty sure from the, from the map, Raptor Run will run me into the dirty ridge. So I'm gonna go up Raptor Run. I did this long ago. I didn't remember the name of this trail. Oh, through the leaves, that was a big hole there. Luck I was going so slow because I'm going up. I didn't twist an ankle. All right, so now we're on Raptor Run. Sometimes the name of a trail is appropriate because only a raptor can climb this trail. But uh, it's just basically going straight up for quite some time now. And uh, now you know why it's called Raptor Run. So I'm at a dilemma. <clears throat> this is not marked it as a trail, but it looks like a trail. But Raptor Run, it's going this way so i know this trail i mean it's a tough trail to hike and i want to get off of it and get onto that dirty ridge but i don't know i think that trail back there that's not marked would probably just take me over to fallwell road so we're going to keep going on raptor run now you can see now it's going it's going down steeply so that's what this trail that's that's the way they designed it up and down up and down and it's a good uh, it's good exercise you know if you want to you want to do a good trail i mean but it said it's only 0.9 miles i seem to well i guess because it's, it's such a tough hike I, I remember felt like it was a lot longer than that the last time i did it but anyway i could look at the map but i know you know raptor's going to take me over to something and then as long as i make a left i'll start heading back towards the uh the sports complex but uh, I'm trying to be careful because these rocks, you know, underneath the leaves can uh, can really uh, slide out from underneath you on these steep slopes here. Oh, coming up on something. We're still on Raptor Run. You always point them out. There, there's a bench here, thank God. So I am going to avail myself of that bench. Because I've been here before. What the heck road is this? Should be another sign identifying this road and there's nothing. This is Liter Liberty Mountain BK 5K. Don't know what that means. No sign. We just we just stay on Raptor Run. I'll get the map out and see where 09 is on this table. All right. I don't know if this is Dirty Ridge. You'd think they'd have it marked. I've done Raptor Ridge before. This is one tough, tough, tough trail. But uh, I don't see any markings for that road back there and uh, Raptor Ridge will run into another trail eventually. And I guess I, when you think about it, I came to get some exercise, so. But I'm gonna show you, man, this thing is, you gotta be a belly goat to hike this trail. I've been on it before and uh, I swore I'd never do it again. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's just keep going. I did see a young couple back there. Uh, they were making out. I thought that was pretty cool. They, they uh, I guess it did wrap the run because you saw how the leaves were. 
that showed you that that trail hardly ever or this trail hardly ever gets hiked because it's a tough hike you know and so I imagine the students are, or most people are just sticking to the you know the easy trails like what like what we did whatever that one that I was on a while ago I can't remember the name of it now that was you know that was a nice hike but a lot of routes you know you got to be careful all right so this is uh I don't know if I got that clip so I'm going to remake it the thing I don't like about Raptor Run is this one tough trail. Like I said, in the other clip, if I got, didn't get it off because I'm on the second battery, this is going to go to one of the highest points on the mountain. And I'm going to be a tired puppy when I get to the top. All right, that's it for this clip. So this is called Dirty Ridge. I'm going to pull out the map. I'm trying to get off that Raptor Run. I did meet two nice young people and I got an interview about Liberty University. I did not did just uh, just a voice over interview. I didn't get them. I didn't want to get their face on the on the on the video. So, uh, but uh, that'll be a separate video. Just if you want to tune in. But looky here, wouldn't this be great? I mean, if I was a student at Liberty University, we're really on top of the mountain right here. I don't know what that is, an RN with the red sign. But uh, there's Raptor Run right there, and you can see that you know, you can see they got the same plan that I do. They've made a makeshift uh, fire pit. Now you could probably take those rocks right there and make another fire pit. Of course, you got to be careful not to set the woods on fire. And it, look, you got an ample supply of wood if you just brought in a, a saw, you know. And uh, man, just come up here with a couple friends and uh, have a fire, camp, or, you know, or even not have a fire and just camp here for the day. But let's see where uh, I'm going to stop here for a minute, sit on these rocks, and uh, try to figure out where I'm at because this is Dirty Ridge. I, somehow I missed. The other trail that I was trying to do and I ended up stuck on Raptor Run which is the one trail I didn't want to do so here let's sit on this rock right here and I'll, I'm going to pull the map out and see where I'm at hold on so while Dirty Ridge was what I was looking for and Raptor Run's going on that way so I'm assuming that I take the left fork god I'd hate it if it takes me back to the uh the zip line again I mean if I'm going the wrong direction there's no sunlight and this is where that compass would come in handy but this is the trail we were actually looking for and i don't know where i've hit there's two spots where raptor run crosses dirty ridge and I'm, i don't know how i may have missed the first spot I'm, or, but if this is the first spot i am i haven't gone nowhere i mean i got one heck of a long ways to get back to the sports complex but uh if it's the second crossing i'm only about one third of the way back to the sports complex now it looks like we're parallel in Raptor Run, so I think the left fork was the right way to go, but what a neat trail, huh? Came right up over that. I guess that's why it's called Dirty Ridge. It just goes over the same uh, uh, the crest in the um, on the mountain here that Raptor Run does. Uh, so we're just getting a getting a different look than we had with Raptor Run. I mean, you can see it's a much more narrow trail. I think I feel a lot prettier. I really feel like I'm back in here now, you know, on a, on a real hiking trail here. Uh, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's a real mountain trail right here. Um, so anyway, you can see it's pretty washed down. That's why all these rocks. Is, you would want some hike. I got, only got tennis shoes on today. That was stupid. You know, I left the hikers back at the house. I just wasn't thinking. You better believe if I come back to Liberty Mountain, which I'm hoping we will, you know. Uh, e even if it's cold, it's just the, the main thing is you don't want to be here when it's wet. And so we had a couple of days where I was just going crazy, locked in the, my mom's house. And, uh, but anyway, so it's just sort of looking like more of the same. And uh, we'll uh, cut the, I'm on the second battery. Luckily I brought three batteries. Like I said, this will be a, probably a four, four video set, um, I imagine. Um, because uh, cause I've got that interview with those college students that'd be, and here's, here's some people coming up. See, there's right, right many people back here hiking. You know, I've met a few. Anyway, they got a dog with them. Let me cut that off. Anyway, I passed four people back there and uh, they told me I am heading back towards the sports complex, but I thought this is a pretty cool view. And I don't know what, you see this tape coming up. It looks like uh, do not go in here tape. I don't know why I'd be out here in the middle of the woods like this, but I am enjoying this dirty ridge trail. And I'm gonna tell you, I've had enough for one day. I'm glad that I'm on my way back. Um, and I'm glad that I know I'm on my way back. <laughs> I guess I'm glad period. So uh, anyway uh, If we see anything Interesting, I'm wondering what this tapes gonna be. Let's keep the video on for just one second I I'm just curious what in the world would they have taped off back here and this is uh, uh, Let's see I'm coming up on it They got it going 
Looks like it's going across the trail. Why? All right, hold on. I'm going to cut off for just a sec. Well, this is the strangest thing. It says caution. Caution for what? And they got these roped off down here. I don't understand it. What's, what's there to be cautioned about? Oh, well. I'm going to just go on around it. Keep going. I don't see any purpose for the tape, and I'm certainly not going to get off the trail when I know I'm heading back. So that doesn't make any sense. Let's get underneath the tape. All right, if I get, you can see, this looks like kind of like Raptor, you know? Maybe that's why it's called Dirty Ridge, because it's going to take you over the ridges, I bet. Um, so that's probably going to be some tough hiking on the way back, because now I'm going up again. Daggone, I really need my hikers. I'm feeling it on my feet from hitting all these rocks. All right, here we go. It's really, it's really hit me hard. I just came up that. I don't know if you can see how far below me that road is. And I'm still continuing. I, I don't even see where the trail crests at this point. And I wanted some up and down, but I didn't want this. Or a lot of this. I didn't mind a little of it. So, still going up. And uh, I will say this. This will be the only video you will ever see. <laughs> like that cybersecurity guy of Dirty Ridge or Raptor Run. Well, I will come back and hike, but I'd like some of the other trails. And nothing... Nothing around here looks anything like these two trails. I, I don't know if there's any, well, I guess we'll find out, but I don't, the other trails I've done are nothing. My just easy hikes, you know, compared to this. This is just, this is worse, or this is as bad as the Appalachian Trail. Oh my gosh, let's keep going. I guess it's because I'm so tired right now. Man, we've been out here quite some time today. You know, but that's what I wanted. I needed a day away. Been dealing with my mom the whole time I've been here. Hell, I even got a call from her this morning and she's complaining about that colonoscopy bag. And I understand, it's a, it's a hell of a thing to deal with, but I remember I've had her a place for five years where I could have taken her and they would have taken care of that colonoscopy bag for her and she wouldn't go, so don't blame me. Oh, all right, I'm gonna rest here a minute. So I thought I'd get a look. And what I just came up and we're coming up to the the top here and I'm gonna sit down and look at the map boy this would be a nice place hey Liberty this would be a real nice place to put a bench for people to sit on so I guess I'll just sit in the dirt up here and see where psychopath is I like that name though doesn't that sound cool psychopath well, no, I ain't to the top. It keeps on going. Well, all right, let's keep, let's keep going on up and I'll stop. I want to stop at the top because then I got nothing, you know, at least get some rest and then, then at least I know I'm going down at that point. All right. Whew. It's hell, hell being a fat old man. I think I just saw why well, there's caution tape back there. I just passed two mountain bikers. Now you saw what I came up. Can you imagine trying to pedal a bike up that? Hell, I mean, just riding a bike down it. I mean, good Lord, the brakes are gonna catch on fire trying to slow down the bike. You know, and I imagine that's why that case tapes there is because they're probably going so fast that they fly out into that road. And if there's vehicular traffic on that road, you know, they could run either right in front of a vehicle or running right into the side of a vehicle. So that's probably why they did it. Because they know that the bikes coming down off of the ridge can't stop, you know. So anyway, uh, but I tell you what, I, if, I was, if I was riding a bike, I'd get off and walk it down that hill. I would not try to ride it, but I, and more power to them, man, if they can do it. I mean, even at my best in mountain biking, no way I could have ridden up that, or, and I certainly wouldn't want to go down it. Uh, so you can see I'm at the top. Well, this might be that construction area. As much as I don't want to climb anything, you can see that it looks like the trees are gone up here. Let's go take a look. So this is a construction area. I don't know if it's the construction area that I was at. You see the, the I guess that's, yeah, that's what it caution tapes up. Probably a lot of these construction vehicles are coming down that dirt road. I just want to see what's up here. I swear that looks like carpet. Oh, this is a, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> this is the snow complex. Oh my God, thank God. 
Well, Dirty Ridge was going to continue on. Well, let's just get back on the path. You know, as much as I want to get back to the car, I think Dirty Ridge is going to take me around. Look at that bird. You seeing him? Isn't that beautiful? Hopefully I'm getting him into the sun a little bit. Yeah, there he goes. All right. Well, we did see one bird today. No deer, no bears. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back on the path. I think it's gonna swing me around to the, uh, to the side of the snow complex. So we, we're in the home stretch, baby. Oh my God, when I get to the car, I got cold water and uh, ginger ale in the car. And luckily I brought an extra water bottle today. I didn't bring it with me because I didn't think I was gonna need it. But I guarantee you, I'm gonna drink that whole bottle of water. That's gonna be awesome. So there's a, uh, there's something white off to my right. I don't think that's the snow complex because we just, we're just, I thought we were just looking at the top of it. I don't know, but I can see a road over here. So I know that I'm not lost anymore. Uh, or this road's taking me back. I mean, you can kind of see the, uh, I think that's either Lynchburg or the college that I'm seeing through the trees here. So uh, we're, we're going in the right direction. If, if this is the path I think it is, it, it's gonna come out. See if I would take that path right there. I bet that goes down to the uh, the gravel path. Dang on it! Should I do it? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the path. This is gonna take me down that gravel road. I, I'm pretty certain. Now, if we just kept going this way, I'm just gonna come up to the. Let's see, because I'm, I'm at least I'm going downhill. But I think I hiked this once before because this connects to the uh, the gravel area that comes across you know the way we came in up that up that hill but it's uh boy it's going way right here that's not the right direction hope i'm not getting myself screwed up here well let's stay on dirty ridge i don't know if this is that path and i i ain't going back over and because it might be going to the, the this mountain across the way over here no nope, let's keep let's just stay on dirty ridge it's just it's not that much more climbing to do all right these are always cool. Don't you expect the headless horseman to come jumping out of that tree? I always wonder how could how could that tree be alive? Or at least I think it is. You wouldn't know unless there's leaf time. All right. Oh, there's a couple people down there hiking. See them down below? That's, that that's probably that trail that I was telling you about, and that would have hit me hit me into the gravel road a bit lower down, so that I wouldn't have to hike so far down the hill. But let's see. Let's see if I'm right. So we're passing over peak to peak so I don't know what that means I could pull out the map but like I said I'm just gonna stay on dirty ridge until we get there you see how you can hike around back here forever man I mean there's just a ton of trails there's another trail going off to the right who knows that's so it's a good thing I didn't take that other trail like, stay on what you know at this point when you're as tired as I am right now there's no reason to be wandering around I can see Liberty University so I'm going the right direction here all right, we'll soon be going down the gravel road on our way to the car. I'll do a selfie and then we'll get the mantra. I'm coming out just above the... Uh... So, you know, on my way back to the car, I saw this right here. You know, it got me to thinking. And I don't know. I mean, maybe there are some. But, I don't, you know, I haven't heard of any. But, you know, it seems to me like these, these schools especially one as, as powerful and rich as Liberty University is, could buy a farm. You know, one of the things that I, my education lacked in college was we never learned anything about agriculture. You know, now that wasn't my degree, but still, you know, if they had offered a class where you could go out and work on a farm as part of your class and learn about growing, uh, you know, like, you know, uh, tomatoes or corn or uh, uh, any sort of thing, that seems to me that would be a great thing to do, you know. And if nothing else, I would have little uh, garden areas all around the university where you could grow vegetables, you know, and uh, and the students, you know, have a have a, you know, one dorm assigned to one garden and one, one dorm assigned to another or something, you know, and they'd have to get out and, and do the plants. And, you know, as part of the, the, the regular curriculum, you might be required to take some uh, agriculture or horticulture classes. Uh, yeah, I didn't have a thought. I mean, isn't that, you know, you ever given that much thought? Whoa, there's a rock again. So you can't see them underneath the leaves. Dang, gone. Got to take it nice and slow in these leaves. All right. But uh, anyway, it's just a thought on the way back to the car. I, I was going, you know, how come nobody, none of these universities offer agriculture unless that's, I mean, I know you can go to some and, and have that as your degree, but 
you know, I would think it should be just a part of, you know, your general education that you'd have to take uh, as an elective. All right, man, that's my thoughts. So remember when I was getting ready to make that detour off of Dirty Ridge, this is where I thought it might be coming out because I just came down that. You know, I'm just noticing for the first time they got street lights on here. Oh, I, I bet you could count on one hand how many students have hiked this path with, although I bet it would be cool in the evenings with those street lights, you know. Uh, but that's where I think that, that right turn, but I don't know. Because like you saw, I was heading back to the right. Now you can see I'm going down. So now I'm getting into these leaves and now I, <clears throat> you might say, cybersecurity guy you uh, you're pretty stupid you don't have a walking stick today because i sure do need it now i've gotten real wobbly and i've almost fallen twice if you step on that stick that stick will roll right out from underneath you you know because they get hidden underneath the leaves that's why i'm taking it nice and slow at this point but uh you know going downhill like this but uh it's hard sometimes you know to make the video to play with the walkman and have the walking stick but you know i think that would have been better than not having it so uh you know, that's a little note to self and note to uh, hikers everywhere. You know, if you're going to hike Candler's Mountain or Liberty Mountain, I guess it's called now, bring a walking stick, man, because it's just, uh, there's too many spots where you're tripping on roots and, you know, sticks rolling under your feet, especially with these leaves the way they are. Uh, you know, lots of up and down, with, so you could use that stick to, you know, help as a third point of uh, attack to, to get up and down those hills. I'll tell you what, this is about the tiredest I've been hiking in, in, a, in a very, very long time. You can see how slow I'm moving, but I'll be at the car soon and I'm gonna drink about a gallon of water. I mean, even though it's a nice cool day, I, I mean, when you're out here for hours and hours and hours, I mean, I have worked up a thirst like you wouldn't believe. I'm gonna just sit in my car for about 10 minutes and luckily I brought a ton of water because I've done this before where I hiked without water and I said, you know what? Every time I get back, I drain that big cup. And then if I don't have a water bottle, and I'm thinking, I'm looking around going, you dummy, why didn't you pack a water bottle? You got 10 of them, 15 of them in the house, you know. All right, man, peace out, stay free. The gravel road leading down to my car. This is the, uh, this is that, uh, as we were coming in, as you go up by the snow complex, it was the first trail to your right. And uh, there's also a little road off to my right here, which I will not be taking. But we want to do the mantra, freedom, let's get the camera just right, freedom, oh freedom, good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, no jab requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. If you're a Democrat, move to California, move to, move to New York, you'll be welcome there. We don't want you in Florida, we, we like our freedom people. Want to wear 10 masks? Wear 10 masks. If you want to jab your kids? Jab your kids. Give them the booster to the booster to the booster to the booster to the booster. Peace out. Stay free.